Number four, John Rojo. The pitch. Off the mark there. One and over. And it skips in the dirt. Up and in, and that's ball three. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they will walk you. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a great free pass. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. This is again five in a row. He starts him with the fastball, and that's a pitch that's right in his wheelhouse. You need to be careful against him with that one. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Soto gets under it, balls it in, and there's one away. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Batting third, the second base, Jorge Polanco. And the first offering is not close. Just missed. Well, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. That one misses, and it's 3 0. There's a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. And had a foul ball. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Very dominant with that fastball inside. The hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. Mitch Garver in the box now. Takes strike one. Close with that one, and the count is one and two. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Swing and a miss struck him out. And up next for Seattle, Cal Raleigh. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. First and second, two down. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. To third. He gets there with the slide. Gathers and throws, and they get the out. Back now in the Bronx. Leading Here's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. The second baseman, Glaber Torres. And here it comes Castillo, an all star a season ago. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a sinker. And he works in a changeup. Here comes a pinch. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. A healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. And the right hander deals. Ball three. Three balls. Great.
Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, oh, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Got well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Juan Soto in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. This one lifted in the air, left field. Rayleigh pulls it in, and there's one away. Now it's Aaron that Judge up to the plate. You have to be careful throwing Aaron ranking pitches, even in an 0-0 oh -oh count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. Swings through that one for strike one. Uh -oh. Throughout okay. history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something built high. And yeah, there's a the ball. Right through there for a strike. One and two. Out there to center. Rodriguez settles under it. He's there. He's got it. And there's two down. Anthony Rizzo that steps to the plate. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. And a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. That is good. But that is John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Stanton. Pitch is in there. And it's all in one. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. All set for the start of the inning. And now for Seattle. Ty friends. Field back to work. would chase that time. Fall off foul. Righty to the plate. Not even close there. Ball two. And a swing and a miss there. Wow, oh, very fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pick. Bounce to third. Throw on to Rizzo. And quickly one away in the second. So digging in, Luke Rayleigh. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Second inning here, no score. And now one and two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside play coverage. Two outs, space is empty. And stepping in for the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger. And that's in there for strike one. Two outs, space is empty. So two down. Here's Dylan Moore. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Swing and a miss. One ball. As he was out front that time. And that's off the inside edge. Two and two. And that one is lifted in the air. Soto pulls it down. And that's. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. The line of the pitch. Liner to second and picked on the hop. The throw to first. And Verdugo is set down. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. The shortstop takes a ball. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Broken bat, and it's popped up. They got it for out number two. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. That's in there. It's 0-1. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Next pitch is outside. Well, he put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Swing at a ball popped up on his way over. And the inning is over. Back for more from the Bronx. Here's the third baseman, Josh Rojas. And the right hander back to work. Rojas goes six foot one, 205 pounds, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. And it's one and one. And another ball. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs to call for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. And there's a strike. Good player. 98. Oh boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Got it by him for the play. Julio Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. He's all for one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The Mariners knew what they had. Signed him in July of 2017 for a little under $2 million when Rodriguez was just 16 years old out of the Dominican Republic. Rodriguez out of the play. Two away. And up next for Seattle, Jorge Polanco. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. Out of here. A solo shot. And they add a run. It's 2-0. Base is empty with two away. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Righty delivers. That clips the corner. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. Popped up. Wells under it. And that is that. And we're back. And now it's switching in third baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. And the pitch. And foul ball. The pitch. Popped up. Rojas under it. Puts it away for the out. Here comes Gleyber yeah, Torres. Let off the bottom of the first one. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. And it is. Juan 
Soto. That one, one missed. One ball. No strike. The Yankees down by a run here in the last half of the third. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball. One strike. And another ball. Two and one. One down, base is empty. Up the middle. Sends it to first. They get the out on Soto. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Two down, nobody on. Just missed. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Judge rips that one. That's back there. And that one is out of here. He'll touch them all. It's their second home run of the inning, and we're all square. It's 2-2. And here is Anthony Rizzo. That one finds the zone. Going one. Tied up here in the early going. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Rojas brings it in for the third out. As we go to the top of the fourth, now the Mariners catcher, Cal Raleigh. The why to kick the pitch. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Well, these Mariners do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count. And they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. France, the next to hit, takes ball one. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul straight back. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count, and it clearly shows there was a game oh. plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. 2 2 now. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Luke Rayleigh up next for the Mariners. His first at bat was a strikeout. And a foul ball. Ball tied up. Top half of inning number four. In the air, left side. Verdugo gets under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Back in New York. Ready to go, ready to go for the, the last Yankees. half of the inning. And Let's stepping in for the Yankees, Giancarlo Stanton. Castillo back to work. First pitch swinging. You know, these Yankees just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And downstairs. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. Here's Alex Verdugo. Rounded out his first time. And the first pitch misses for ball one. A 
Hard hit left side. Whips it across. Already two gone here in the home four. And up next for New York, Anthony Volpe. He popped out his first time. Just missed. What a and he takes a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Two outs. Wouldn't chase that time. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And the righty deals. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. 3-2. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And it's a three. Back in the Bronx. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. The pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Well, these Mariners just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They really haven't worked. Boots it. Up next is the other. Go ahead, run on base. Now it's the shortstop, Dylan Moore. Ball one there. What a no. Hanniger on at first. Nobody out. Oh. Next offering upstairs. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Right-hander kicks deals. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And it's off the wall. Coming home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Three to two. Back-to-back -to -back base hits. Just missed out on a home run right there. But he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall. But still an excellent swing of the bat. Rojas at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. One on, nobody out, a run in, and we're at the top of the fifth. Pickoff throw, Moore back in on a dive. Left-hand hitter waits, and it's way to miss. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. High fly ball out to center field. Volpe pulls it in on the run. Yeah, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Rodriguez up for the third time and takes ball one. Foul ball there. Runner at second here, one gone. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Two and one. Started to go at the 2 1. Appeal down to first. Did not go. Man at second. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Way out of here. A gigantic blast. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 5-2. Luke Weaver gets the ball now. Number Still three. pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work to have. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that started right there. Polanco, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. 
for you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really oh. went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt a shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee now, Stadium. And now is the Mariners DH, Mitch Garver. Pitch misses inside, ball one. There's a strike. Ball to strike. Right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. And another ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Fights it off. You'll see another. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Now that. And Cal. stepping in for the Mariners, Whoa. Cal Raleigh. That's and the pitch is outside, ball one. Two outs. And that's oh, off the inside edge. And now 2-0. And that's in for a strike. Two and one. The 2-1. Oh, and okay. another ball. Three and one. And he walked him. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this the inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Ty France getting ready to hit. And that's through there for a strike. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. That one gets down for a hit. The throw in. Tag. No. Too late. He scores. And they lead by four. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Looked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Rayleigh stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Raleigh over at second. France at first, two out of the inning. It's in and out of his glove. Force it second, and they get the out. Stayed with it nicely. Here in New York, and here's the catcher, Austin Wells. The catcher. And a pitch. Singy, four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow, and I'll give you a free suit. Oh. That one off the mark, and the count is two and two. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day, and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a <laughs> great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York. And a swing and a miss. Now, Down now. on strikes. The third baseman. One away. Oh, oh, oh. Down the third baseman, Osvaldo oh, oh, oh. Cabrera. First time up was a pop-out. Up and oh, in, oh. and it's one and oh. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Oh. Close one, doesn't get the call. And it's two and oh. 
Swing and a miss as he was late that time. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. The wind of the pitch. And that one finds its way through. And now the lineup turns over with one away. Everything came together for him. Oh, oh, Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way. And play the ball and play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Labor Torres up to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. And a strike to Glaber. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. One that ball. misses the zone. One and two to count. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Now two out. Juan Soto now down. The right Soto reached 500 oh. walks faster than anyone in baseball Soto. history. This guy is a once-in-a-generation type player. No, Just missed. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Huh. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. The 1-1. One, one. And that one fouled off. Out towards right center field. Rodriguez settles under it. Makes the grab. And that's the inning. Top six. And now for Seattle, Mitch Hanniger. And the pitch. That's in there. One one. Out to short. Volpe. And they take yeah, care of Manager for the out. And the batter will be the shortstop. Now, Dylan Moore. The one for two. Dylan Moore. And first offering is fouled off. Moore measures six feet even, 31 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2015. Torres over to first, two up, two down. Now bad. So the batting the order turns three. over. Josh yeah. Rojas up Rojas. next for the Mariners. Huh. Check swing, but he went oh, too one. far, and that's strike one. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Foul ball still 0-2. At the belt and fires. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, we go bottom six. And stepping in for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. Aaron and he deals. So in terms of hitting rocket home runs, Judge is near the top of that list. Only Giancarlo Stanton has hit more with greater exit velocity than Judge. Look out, though. Shohei is quickly climbing those charts. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. The beauty of his skill set as a pitcher is the break in his stuff doesn't go away when he's tired. I mean, his pitches always seem to have life. It just doesn't matter if it's early or late. He doesn't make it easy for the batter. Flopper to right field, way back, gone! Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they cut into the lead. It's 6-3. And next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. On the corner for a strike, it's 0-1. Well, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. The 0-1. Oh. One ball, one strike. A little out front there as he swings through it. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. 
just misses with that one. It's a good take. To the right side. Over to first. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the home run. John Carlos Stanton at the plate. Who's over to a pair of strikeouts. And first offering is fouled off. Good eye right there. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And another ball. One down, base is empty. Still two and two after the foul ball. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Alex Verdugo will hit next. And first offering is fouled off. Two down. Nobody on. That one at 95 missed up top. And the count is one and one. Kicks and deals. This one in the air right field. And it falls. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Pitch was in and off the plate. So oh, hard to do anything with the pitch in that location. But somehow we got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Now the batter now. Anthony Volpe. Left field. Ray drifts towards it. Brings it in, and that'll do it. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Nick Birdie. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. The center field, number 34, Julio Rodriguez. The pitch. Rodriguez oh. in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Gets under it and pops it up. Torres has a beat on it. Makes the grab one away. So up next, Jorge Polanco. He's already homered in this game. First offering misses badly for ball one. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. One ball, man. That was pretty gross right there. Good eye in that spot. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. One down, base is empty. Ripped to short. Throws to first. And Polanco is out. Mitch Garver up next for the Mariners. One for three. First pitch, not close. You see the velocity 97 with that fastball. This one in the air. Torres should have this one. And that is that. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the Yankees catcher now. Austin Wells. Castillo back to work. The Yankees looking to rally. And a pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. That clips the zone, and the count one and two. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough the sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. 
Cabrera oh, in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And that one fouled off. The Yanks trailing by three here at the bottom of the seven. And another ball. Popped up to the left into foul ground. That's out number two. Labor Torres up now to the plate. Him. He's the already over eight. here in this one. Just missed. Good take by Torres. And that's outside. And that's ball three. And there's the automatic. Here it comes. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Victor Gonzalez. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And the pitch. Popped up. Wells moving under this one. And out number one on the grab. Ty France up next for the Mariners. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty one away. And we're in the top of the eighth. Oh, Just oh. missed. for a strike at 95 going along. Cold strike right there. This guy's pounding this all. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Gabe Spire. Here's Juan Soto leading over three, three with two flyouts and a ground out. The right here. Go to the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Oh, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, trying to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Next offering is in for a strike. That's down and in. Pitch. Got him. And there's one down. Judge at the dish now. He's homered twice so far in this one singing. Can he make it three? Well, he's done it before, Boog. And the first time Judge hit three home runs in the same game was in 2023. He did it twice in the span of a month. If anyone can do it again, it's this guy right here. And yeah, that's off the inside edge. And yeah, that's ball two. Right through there for a strike. One down, base is empty. Hard on the ground to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Anthony Rizzo now at the plate. Anthony Rizzo. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, okay. ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. That one fouled off. And now the lefty. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. 
Lefty continues to work with the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Number 50. And stepping in for the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger. And a pitch. That's through there for a strike. And the next pitch is way outside. Righty delivers. That one misses. Now two balls and a strike. Hot shot to third. Low throw, and he can't dig it out. And at first, Dylan Moore up next for the Mariners. Foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. Yeah, the right hater deals. They go 95 to finish him off. So digging in, Josh Rojas. First offering, and it just misses. The kick in the pit. Runner goes. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Righty to the plate. Runner on the go again. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Eye there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And yeah, the righty deals. Ground ball to the right side. Good feed. That's one. Back to first. Not in time. And up next for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Some hitters are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. On the ground, out to short. Wide throw, and it gets away. Now that second base. Jorge Polanco digs in now. First pitch misses. Two outs, two in scored position here at the top of the ninth. Fly ball down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. We're back. Now on the mound is the closer, Andres Munoz. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. And the pitch. Stan stands in now, looks at that one inside. Munoz, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, Sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Close, but called a ball. And the count two and one. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control and command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. The 2 2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. 
As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, the stuff is just too good to fail. At the belt and fires. The M's leading by three. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Yeah, that's outside. And he's got deception in his delivery, and it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate, even though they know what the velocity numbers are. Got him swinging for the strikeout. And they're down to their last out. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Anthony Volpe. And a strike right through there. That one in triple digits. Munoz is just one strike away. And that's a little bit high. And that is ball one. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Players can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 6-3 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi.